What is up ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Agent Juicy and today I'm going to show you how to control or uh, limit your data use on your BlackBerry Prim. Sometimes, you know, in Canada you have a package that's maybe one gigabyte and you don't want to go over it. So this video is going to help you try to like keep track and manage that data usage. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do like it, please be sure to hit the like button at any point in this video. So for me, I have an addiction problem where I just love to browse the web at any time in the day. So I'm going to show you a quick step. So swipe down from the top, hit that little uh, button right there to go into the settings. While you're in the settings, you want to see data usage. This is the key step for this to work. So firstly, you could turn off the cellular data. So that way in the background, when you leave a Wi-Fi area, like if you're in McDonald's or Starbucks and you leave there, you're not going to be using data once you leave. Like you're not going to be using that LTE uh, data usage or your bandwidth. I'm going to turn it back on just for this video. So now you could set a cellular data limit. So you could basically uh, allow your phone to give you like a prompt on when you're, you're going to go over your mobile data. Remember, this is only for your mobile data, not for Wi-Fi. So don't worry too much about that. So right now you can see I have a two gigabyte warning and a five gigabyte limit. The two gigabyte warning is like a little red flag that pops on your phone and be like, hey, you're approaching your two gigabyte limit on the notification bar. And then the limit is where it just sort of cuts it off. Like you don't get any more data beyond that. So you could sl adjust this as you want by sliding it up or sliding it down. So let's say you have one gigabyte. So you're probably going to want a warning around the 850 mark, 855, close enough. And then you want to set the limit so you don't go over and give those friendly, nice mobile providers your money. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic if you didn't pick it up. Um, so I'm going to set it to right around, you know, it's at one gigabyte. Oh, and it remaps as well. So you don't have to like worry if it gets really small. So I'm going to put the limit right around and there you go. That's how you control uh, the data limit on your phone. So now the next step that I could show you is something called queued cellular data. So what this does is basically once this is off, it's not going to work. But once it's turned on, this is something pretty cool. Basically, uh, in a timed interval, let's say for every hour or two hours, um, what it does, it's, it, it sort of opens up the mobile data network pulls in or grabs all the notifications necessary and downloads it and then turns it off. So your your phone isn't like throttling in the background or idling. This is a pretty cool feature because you could also use this for privacy. If you wanted, you could put you could turn this on and that way you limit uh, the amount of time Facebook syncs with your phone or Snapchat syncs with your phone. And that's really up to you. And I'm going to scroll down to let's say Chrome. So now you can see you get this option once you res once you allow the background data to happen. So let's say you wanted to disable Chrome from ever running uh, in the background. You hit that button and then you just restrict all control. So nothing in the background is going to happen for Chrome. Secondly, you could do the same for, uh, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, you know, the BlackBerry Hub if you want. If you find the BlackBerry Hub is pulling in too much of your data use, you know, you could use that there as well. Um, so that's for the data use. Now, you could also do this for Wi-Fi apps or any apps that use Wi-Fi. So let's say uh, your Twitter account on Wi-Fi is pulling in a lot of your Wi-Fi data at home. You don't have unlimited internet. Let's say many people don't. Um, you could just restrict your Twitter account so that way when it's on Wi-Fi, it doesn't get synced up. So you could do that for both the cellular data and for the Wi-Fi data. So I hope this video helped you guys understand how to manage uh, mobile data and a little bit of uh, the Wi-Fi data, more so for mobile data. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, like I said, give me a like, uh, share this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.